Hello, offense, my fellow YouTubians. I am Aaron the Great Six Nine Five. The clip on. And then I immediately walk into the lava. This is a great start. I have the ribbon. Oh. All right, so why am I even recording this? Welcome back to Let's. Play the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and now for probably the most boring part. Oh my god, I got it! Never mind! <laughs> so, what you have to do is you have to dig up a star shaped door, and then you can trade it in for this ribbon here. Sure, why not? And now we will take our ribbon, and we shall take it to. Rosa, or whatever her name is. Yes, her name is Rosa. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew it. And here she is. What a cute ribbon. Is it for me? Yep. Wow, I thank you. Yay. Since you're so nice, I'm going to take you. Wait, what? That wasn't part of the deal. Oh, fine. Uh, this is I love what this guy says. You and Rosa? No way! You're not a date, are you? Yeah, I went through that text kind of fast. This freaking mini, freaking fingers, freaking fingers these days. these days. They're all over the place. So now let's take Rosa to the temple. My air quotes that you can't even see. Typically I like going around and show you off the other parts of the temple. But all we really need to do is we need to not do that. We need to go to the Tower of Summer, the one with the locked door on it, up in the top left corner. And we need to take. We need to go to here and. Voila! You have come, adorable hero! Eh. Um. What? What? Uh, uh, I don't even know. So yes, the spirit of Simon. Lines grow, lines grow tall and creeks dry up. Blah 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 blah. Yes, grant us the power of the spirit of summer. The water seasons has been blessed with a summer day. Climb atop a stump to call forth summer. Now we're gonna. Now we need to drop Rosa off back at the beach. I might have to. I might just cut this out. You know what? I will cut this out. Digging around for more chunks. Digging, digging down for more chunks. I had so much fun. I hope you'll ask me that again. Don't count on it. Alrighty. So now we're just. Gonna teleport back to back to what? Oh, school swamp. That's where we are. We are school swamp. Hello, Ricky. You're actually here. I don't have any gotcha secrets. It's weird that I've been playing this on my actual part here, and I have a, a, a crap ton of gotcha seeds on that farm. Maybe I bought some of the market, because if you go back in after you buy the ribbon, you can buy gosh seeds. Just so. Gosh seeds are kind of important, so they'll help you get a hard piece eventually. And so now we must enter the 
must wave our wand of magic and stuff twice, and we, this summer, we can, we can climb into level three, the Poison Moth's Lair. I'm not a fan of this dungeon, maybe because, maybe probably because it's, probably because I, I had so much trouble with it when I was younger. Spike beetles, flip them over with your shield, and then slash them. Mold arms. They're not too bad. Just keep slashing and they'll die. More spike beetles. And now, there's a fat form thing today. It doesn't go all the way to the left side, though. That implies that you're going to get, get something to jump over that little small gap. Which we will. Spoilers. For the game. By the way, I hate this room with all these wall masters. I hate floor masters, rather. They come out of the floor, not the walls. They're masters of something. I do not like them because they master the floors. <sighs> you have to push a pot onto that switch. I love these guys. You have to smash them. They, they mirror your movements, as you see. And you have to slash them. Oh, hey. This doesn't work at all. It's a trap! All right, then. Holy agro agro. I don't know. Now we shall push things, and we shall get... A key! Huzzah! Keep pushing, like, there you go. And now we shall return to the trap room! Here you can just play Ricky's Flutes and kill these things. And they die. And we kill those Moldorms, and we get bombs. That is not suspicious at all. Now is it? Neither are neither these tiles. Now are they? Blow up the wall in that spot, and you get the map. Really? So it's just off to the side. One. I, I I never got the map when I first played the game because it was just off to the side and whatnot. Yeah. Here you wanna push these these gray statues now. You don't wanna do what I just did. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what I I know what you do. Yes, yes, I remember. I lied, you don't push the gray statues though. You push the ones on the left. Push the red statues on the right down place, and then you do what I did. Cause I'm good at this game, you know. Now we must kill things. And now I kill these guys. Else, I hate this room. It's freaking. Okay. And they knock you down to the basement. Or rather the first floor. Because as you can see, well yeah, it is the basement. Oh 
Oh my god, the map isn't broken! Yeah, that's a, a thing from my first LP. When I did my original LP of this game, I would pick in Visual Boy, not Visual Boy, and the map. And when you go into the map and you flip, a, you flip around the map too much, the game freezes. I was like, and I, when I did that, the first time I did that in this dungeon, obviously, because it's the first dungeon with more than one floor, and the first time I did that, I was like, what just happened? And, yeah. So we got Rock's Feather, which will allow us to jump. I completely neglected to explain I was too busy telling my story about the map. And I fell down. I was too busy explaining Rock's Feather. All in all. In other words, fuck me. There you go. I'm... I have... I have platforming skills. God, that was close. Do-do-do-do-do. And now we are on the first floor. We are on the top part, top area of the basement. We are on, now we are on the top area of the first floor. And we must push this trampoline thing over to this other colorful pile over here, and we must jump on it! And now we can progress in the game. I'm gonna wanna equip our power bracelet to our beast beast slot here because you're gonna need to push these rolling things and then jump over spikes, yeah, as you can tell. And now we're going to bring our sword out once again. And now more trampoline. More trampoline push egg. Huzzah! Come on, come on! Also, I love what happens if you jump into the sea. That's insane. <laughs> I love that. And now we must bounce up here and we get a thing. Think my desk? It's a small key! I might actually be able to fit the entire dungeon in one room. I probably could, but I don't want I don't really want to. I'll go up to the mini boss, how about that? There's not really much after the mini boss. Well, I'll go to the mini boss if I don't die first. Because if, if I die for if I die, then I'm gonna stop there. After this part. This actually leads back here. So now we can jump over there. And now back to this evil room that I might actually cut out. You know what? I might just end the video right here. Okay, if they grab me, I'm in. Okay, they didn't grab me! We're going to the mini boss. Watch me die against the mini boss. I don't doubt it. This mini boss is like 10 times. It's like. It's. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's not hard, it's just. Again. I had so much trouble with this dungeon when I was done. Especially this mini boss that I won't be fighting just yet because there's a thing we can get over here. Oh my god! Use Rock's Feather to your advantage. And now we will go around this way. 
And there's a treasure chest here. What's inside? A gosh, a seed! Should I end the video here? Probably not. Let's go. I already threw him into the water. That's a that's a great omen for things to come. Because, yeah. So this mini boss, you have to they, they stick their heads out of the water and they shoot fireballs at you. You have to pick them up with the power bracelet and throw them away from the water. You throw them in the water, they'll well, they'll go in the water. And you have to pull them out again. Oh my god. See, like I said, watch me die against this mini boss. This mini boss is actually Oh my god, I had a potion. I forgot I had... I forgot I had a potion. Hey, get over here. There you are. Ha <laughs> ha And he's dead. So I had a potion and it's safe. So my potion saved me from having to fight this mini-boss over again in, in the next part. Speaking of next part, we will uncover the mystery of these stairs next time. By the way, something I figured out. You push start and select at the same time, you go straight to the same screen. Alright, see you next time.